I've had giant breed dogs for 25 years and when I got my first one, one of the most important things that I wanted him to learn was to not jump up on people. He was 160 pounds and he was a really big dog. A four pound Chihuahua jumping up on people is an issue, but a 150 pound Mastiff or even 80 pound German Shepherd jumping up on people can be really dangerous. Today I'm gonna to be working one on one with Scott as he's really been struggling with his dog Ginger jumping up on people. I'm gonna help give him some skills to prevent the jumping up from happening, but also teaching Ginger not to jump up in the first place. I'm Instructor Steve, welcome back to McCann Dogs. Here on our channel, we publish new videos every week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member, whether that family member is a four-pound chihuahua or a 150-pound Irish wolfhound. Now, I'm excited for you guys to meet Scott and Ginger, so let's go outside. So first of all, Scott, thanks for joining us today. Ginger is awesome and she's obviously an excited little dog. Um, you had mentioned to me that, um, that she jumps up when she's, when she's meeting new people and she gets a little excited. Is that something you find a lot? Yeah, absolutely. Whenever we have friends coming over, strangers or people she knows, very excited, loves to greet people. As soon as they come through the door though, she wants to run to see them and wants to jump up on them and play. When it comes to the idea of jumping up, is jumping up is a very self-rewarding behavior. The act of jumping is something that they like, and especially a rough and tumble dog like Ginger, you know, just that physical interaction of crashing and bashing is stuff that is naturally rewarding for her. And oftentimes, the things that we do to let them know they shouldn't jump also reinforce that. We give them a push off, or we even put the, our hands on them, and they go, oh my gosh, every time I jump on somebody, I get that rough and tumble play, and I get their hands on me. That's a really, really great reward. And that's, the, you know, how we want to start to approach changing that picture and preventing it from happening. Now, oftentimes either managing or simply gating her off or creating her in a certain area can take away that rehearsal again. So not only do we get the self reward from the jumping itself, but the running to the door, that excitement, the barking, all of that is a really um, self rewarding behavior for the dog. So managing, you're on a really good step for that, but I would try and go one step further where I don't let that particular rehearsal happen. Okay. Now, Telling her not to jump up when she does, absolutely using the leash is a much better way to go. And one of the things that uh, we have just done is we switched uh, Ginger's collar from a fairly wide collar, hi girl, to a little bit um, better fit flat buckle collar. Not something that clips, but one that actually belts like your belt would. Mm -hmm. um, and fit well enough that A, it's not gonna slide down on her shoulders and give her that extra power, and B, yeah. not so big it's gonna slide over her head, but give me the best control that I possibly can to help her say, hey, I don't want you to do that. And then I can redirect her and do something else. Um, this is where things like harnesses, we have people say, well, I put a harness on my dog to prevent that. A harness on this dog is like hooking up to a snow plow. You're yeah. not gonna be able to do anything to prevent her from doing what she wants to do. We're sort of giving her all the power. So well fit flat buckle collar and your leash are the tools that we are gonna use. Now Ginger's a really big dog and I wanna set her up to be successful. So before we get into a situation where she's yes. making mistake after mistake and we're having to correct her and place her and do all sorts of yes. things, I'm just gonna have Scott reward her a bunch of times and make sure that she understands how valuable he is before I get in there and start distracting her. So. Let's give this a shot. One of the things that I wanna do is give her another job to do that we're gonna make more valuable than jumping up on the people, okay? Now we talk about having our dog sit at our side as a very good place for her to be, very good girl. And that's a great thing to do, but I wanna make it so valuable that she doesn't wanna jump. She wants to maintain that position. And eventually she's gonna learn that's the only position that she is in when people come in to pet her. So Scott, I'm just gonna have you take the leash. I'm gonna have you guide her to your side. So just take your left hand and just scoop her into a, your side there. And then I want you to just lift her up into a sitting position. Ginger. Good, so bring your right hand down there close to the clip get, get and then tuck her little bum at your side. Sit, good, good sit. Girl. Now, like anything else, uh, I wanna make it easy for her to be successful. So I want her to know that sitting beside you is valuable. So now that she's sitting, you can give her a little pet, but I also want you to reward her. So, you know, good we girl. know that we use the word yes as our marker yes. and, and Scott's good got girl. some great treats for her. Good girl, something that Ginger. she really, really likes. So feed her again, yes and reward. Ginger. Yes. And we are gonna to start to make it Good so girl. more, so much more valuable for her Good to be sitting at your side that she's gonna ignore me right now. Good girl. Now, I'm standing yes. at a distance to kind Good of help girl. to make sure that she doesn't make that mistake because obviously she is a super social butterfly. I yeah. guarantee if I come into there, Good she girl. is gonna, she's more apt to get up. So this is really all about building value. Now, you talked about having her um, be excited when people come to the house. This is sort of how I would approach it. If I was the person coming in your door and you had the leash on her and you had some of those great treats there, um, you could teach her that, again, people are gonna come and go, and her job is just to sit. Good girl. Now, one thing yes. I wanna point out that Scott's doing a really, really good yes. job of is there's good no girl. tension 
on the leash. The clip of that leash is hanging straight up and down. He's not strangling her and holding her in a sit. Good she girl. has the option to get up. And because she's sitting, he's going to pet her. He's going to yes and reward Good her girl. again. Yes. And he's simply going to build that value. Good yes. girl. Good, Good girl. job. Excellent Good girl. girl. And if she were to get up, we are simply going to guide her back into that sit at our side. Now those treats are great. She's really, really loving those. So let's see if she gets up and let's see what she can do. I'm just going to come in a little closer. She's making some good choices. Good girl, talk to her. Yes. Reward that right good now. Good girl, now, Ginger. She good made girl. a really stellar choice there. Good girl. Um, yes. And I want to just talk about that. She looked at me and then immediately looked back at Scott. Good that girl. is the yes. thing I want to capitalize on. That yes. is the thing that good I want girl. her to know yes. is absolutely right. She remained in that sit position, yeah. but she made the choice good to girl. look at you. She said, hey, there's somebody cool. Dad, what good should girl. I do? And that's absolutely good. the best thing to do. Good, good girl. girl, good job. Yeah. Good. So at that further distance, Ginger is starting to make some really good choices. And um, I'm going to try and make it a little bit harder for her. Now, you'll notice a couple of things. When I was talking to Scott, I wasn't making any eye contact with Ginger at all. I was talking to Scott. I was standing back. I was maintaining some distance to help her be successful. And in these situations, it's really important that you be the advocate for your dog. People's first inclination is to come in and say, oh my gosh, what a cute dog. And for most dogs, that's really too overwhelming. They really are social and there's nothing wrong with them saying hi to people. However, if I'm getting jumping and other behaviors that I don't want, I need to help coach those people and say, hey, my dog's in training. Can you maybe step back and help me with that training? And I will tell you to come in when I think she is able to make a great choice. So I'm going to come in. I might even look at her directly and we're going to see if she gets up. So she got up. So we're going to bring her right back. So I want you to just take your leash and bring her right back to your here. side. Tuck her back in. Good girl. Good girl. Loosen up good on your girl. leash a little bit. Good Excellent girl. girl. Good. That's good better. Girl. Now, again, yes. I'm going to see if I can make it a little harder. Sit. Good girl. Are you ready? Good, good oh, there's a good, good girl. Sit. Excellent. Good. Good. Praise that right good there. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. Yes. yes. And reward good that. Girl. Excellent. Good, good girl. girl. Now I'm going to make it a little harder again. So she got up. So we're going to bring her back, place her in that sit. Sit. Now, yes. good girl. This is the bubble that I find most dogs get. At this distance, six, eight feet, she's doing brilliantly. She's good quite girl. capable of holding yes. the sit. But again, if I'm going to go in and pet her right now and she's getting up constantly, then she is learning that she can get up and go see people whenever. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make it just a little bit more valuable for her to hold that sit position. OK, I'm going to come in a little closer. Good girl. Good girl. She's making those choices to look at you. Good girl. I want you to come in and I want you to just reward her just a little bit more frequently as I yeah. come in. Now, your timing is Good important. Girl. I don't want you holding food in her nose and bribing her to be there. Okay. I want her to make that decision. She's going to hear that yes, and then you're going to give her a treat. And as I come closer, we're going to shift that focus from me to you. Got okay, it. so reminder yeah. to sit. Sit. Good, Good girl. Yes and reward. Yes. Good. Good so I want you to say yes, but don't reach in your pocket until she's there. Yes and reward that now. Sit. Good. Yes. yes. There we go. Excellent. Yes. Good. Good. Very girl. Good. Good. Good reminder girl. to sit. Good girl. Sit. Good, Good sit. sit. Good sit, Ginger. Sit. Yes, yes. good girl. So good, again, watch that girl. hand in the pocket before you say yes. I don't want that cue to be pay attention yeah. to me because sure. she knows the cookies are in that, that, that pocket. <laughs> I want it to be she makes that choice. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. Yes, yes, and feed that. There you yes. go. So the difference is she again looked at me, looked yeah. at you. We say yes. Then she gets that reward. Everything. Good God. girl. Now, good. we're going to make it one little bit harder. Okay. Now that she's shown that we can good be girl. this far away and she can be successful, I'm actually going to reach in and pet her. Okay. okay. Now, same rules apply. Her job is to maintain that sit position. Your job is to coach her a little bit. Okay. I don't want to talk to her the whole time, but I want to remind her of her job. Good girl. Good Excellent. Sit. And as long as she's good holding sit. that position, we're going to continue to reward. Good. good reminded yes. to sit. Good. Good, good girl. Sit. Excellent. Sit. Yes. Good. There we yes. go. Good. Good girl. Good Very sit. Good. good. Excellent. Sit, good. Good girl. Good. good. Very sit. nice. Good. Sit. Good. Good sit. girl. Good, good girl. Yes. yes. And reward yes. that. So again, good timing. Girl. Yes. Then reach for that food. Yes. Girl, I'm gonna do one more because she's doing a great sit. job of good this. Girl. Good. Yes. good girl, very good. Ginger. Yes, good and reward girl. that right yes. now. Good, there's yes. my girl. Good girl. Very good. good girl. Now I gotta say, Ginger is doing fantastic in learning this from when she walked into the door to doing this now. But she's learned it in this particular room, in this particular situation with me as a distraction. So because she's doing so well, I, I'm going to make it harder. I want to challenge her some more and see if we can build on her skill in teaching her not to jump up. Now, it is important to keep in mind that if your dog is struggling with and you work through this particular scenario and your dog gets up repeatedly, I would continue to practice that. Don't make it harder yet until you know there's a greater chance of them being more successful. So your next steps, once your dog knows how sit, to sit at yes, your side and is able girl. to have people come in and pet, we can start to give the dogs permission to go and say hi. Now, this is all about permission. This is all about you saying you can go say hi to that person, but there are still manners. So in a second, Scott, I'm going to come in. I'm going to stand a little closer. 
you're gonna tell her okay, and you can say go see or go say hi or whatever you think you're gonna use for your sort of greeting command. And I want you to step forward with your left foot to let her know that she should move and it's okay to move, okay? What that's gonna do is two things. A, it's gonna let her know that she's allowed to get up because of your motion and your release word. But the second thing, it's actually gonna put you in a really good position to help her because the moment she steps forward to come see me, if she were to jump, I can give her a little bump on the leash and tell her not to. But more importantly, I could remind her off to keep those four paws on the ground. And I'm gonna give her a quick little pet. What we're not doing is let her get out to the end of a six foot leash that yeah. you and I already talked about. She's so darn strong. If she gets that six leverage. feet of leash, you're, there's nothing you can do about it at that point. I'm just gonna give her a little quick, a quick little pet, okay? Now, it's gonna be a short pet. And then when I tell you to, you're just gonna call her name. Okay, so what we're saying is you're allowed to go say hi to somebody. As long as everything's good, the people are gonna pet you. Yep. But before we pet her for too long and she gets too excited, we're gonna call her name and simply move away. So it's a really controlled interaction at first yep. so that she learns that that's how she's gonna meet people. So I'm gonna come in and stand close. Good girl. So I would just tell her good sit. Good sit. Good, good sit, Now Jim. tell her, good okay, shot. go say hi. Okay, go say hi. Hi girl, good, very nice, good. That's excellent, good girl. Now just call her name. Okay, Ginger. Yes, good. Yes, good Embrace girl, that. That good that. girl. Excellent. Very yes. good girl. Good girl. Good job, good. good. She is making fantastic choices right now. And I wanted to point out something that Ginger did. When Scott told her to come and say hi to me, she yes. didn't stay focused on me. She actually looked at me and then turned back to Scott. And I like that because what that means is she's saying, okay, I can go see that person but my person is still the most valuable. So when she does that, she's gonna come and say hi to me. I'm pretty much guaranteed she's gonna look at you. I want okay. you to say yes, and I want you to just reach down and give her a treat and even a little pat on the head, and I'm gonna pet her for a little bit longer. Okay. Because she's making fantastic decisions right now. So let's okay. just get Good her on her feet. Up. Good girly. Okay. Come on, girly. Excellent okay. girl. So go, okay, say, go hi. say hi. Hi, girl. Good yes, job. What's good happening? Girl. Good. good girl. Very good, good girl. girl. Yes, and yes. Right there. Good. Yes. good. Yes. What a good, good girl. girl. Feed her again. Yeah. Yes. yes. Good girl. Good. 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 And then Ginger. call her name okay. and just Ginger. wander away. Good girl. Good. So good. she just got several rewards good right girl. there for doing all the things that we want. First and foremost, she kept four paws on the ground. Second yeah. of all, I got to pet her and let her tell her she was a great dog. And you got to reward her for paying attention to you in a situation that's really, really distracting. So once my dog knows how to sit, I can expand on those skills by telling her, go and say hi and give them permission. But it's all about setting them up to be successful, which is exactly what we did here. Ginger Good made girl. great yes. choices because we controlled the choices that she made and helped her do all those great things. Good girl. So you were talking about her energy. Yeah, quite often, Steve, when we have friends over, she'll be very excited when she first sees them, want to jump up. We'll get her settled down after a little while and she'll go and have a lie down gets her energy back, I've let my guard down, she wants to get back up and play again and reintroduce to them and jumping up on them again. Now, one of the things that I like to do um, that I encourage you to maybe practice is, you know, have her uh, lie in a certain spot in the room. So the reason for that is I can then have a bit of more of a cue when I realize she's gotten up. Because sometimes we get in the yeah. moment with our friends and do all sorts of things. And if the dog's just wandering around, all of a sudden she goes, oh my God, there's that person I already met. Whammo, the dog yeah. has a jump. My young dogs, I will, once they're at this stage, kind of have a spot to lay. And that's sort of my cue because they will be sleeping. And as yeah. I'm doing stuff, all of a sudden if that dog gets up, I'm like, oh, wait a second, that dog's gonna do something. Yeah. I can interrupt it before she ever has a chance to, to jump and reward herself. And then I can redirect her quickly. I can bring her back to the bed. I can bring her out and do that same exercise again, have her sit at my side or go say hi if she's able. And then I can also look at managing, whereas it's you know the point of the night where I wanna hang out with my friends and do other things. I'll pop the dog in the crate and just let him have a chill after I've taken him out to the bathroom or something like that. So a little bit more consistency in the moment, but also thinking that step ahead. Yeah. And this isn't about letting her jump and being mad at her for it. This is about changing her world so she understands how every interaction goes instead of letting her make happy-go-lucky puppy mistakes, very large puppy, mind you, um, and then being mad at her for it. So this is about controlling the environment and setting her up for success. Now, Ginger did really well in this scenario, learning how to not jump up on me, but there's still training to do. And if you're struggling with teaching your dog not to jump up on not only people, but counters or tables, click that video right there. Now, if you'd like some personalized help for you and your dog and have direct access to a McCann Dogs instructor, check out our Life Skills online training program. The link is in the description below. On that note, I'm Steve. This is Ginger. Happy training. <laughs>